Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with House Moving Castle. Okay, um, before I begin, um, I'm replacing an anime in my channel uh, which will end, that is Soul Eater. A poll is given below in the comment section. You can go there and vote for whichever anime you want to vote and I'll react on the majority of it if it exceeds 10 votes. So there are like 5 options so there are plenty to choose from so be sure to like check it out. Okay. Let's uh, talk uh, about, um, well, I can't talk about it because I know nothing about like House Moving Castle and I've heard of it a lot of times, especially in other animes, mm, like in parodies and all, uh, especially Gintama. <laughs> like, uh, was it House Moving Castle or Laputa's Moving Castle? Uh, oh, oh, oh no, the, there's another uh, movie, isn't it, about Laputa or something like that? No, that was Laputa's something. I think, is that also a Ghibli movie? I'll have to check it out. But there's another uh, thing called Laputa, I'm not sure. Uh, like a castle kind of like thing. Anyways, um, so yeah, like uh, that's my uh, like introduction to House Moving Castle from another anime. And I never knew what it was from, but after checking the Ghibli movies list out, I found out that this is a Ghibli movie. So yeah, I was really curious about it when it was referenced. So now I'll get to like see what it is actually about. So yeah, uh, so yeah, guys. Yeah, without further ado, let's get started because it's a two-hour movie. I'll have to keep the introductions and outro as well short. So yeah, let's get started. All right, as this is a movie reaction, there'll be uh, subtitles and timers given. Link it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> See what? Okay. Is this the castle that they're talking about? House moving castle? Uh, from the title? Yeah, I think so. Because it looks like looks like a castle and it is moving. So, so this castle belongs to someone called Howl. I'm guessing. Oh, wow! It's just like an everyday uh, like day for them. A castle moving around. <laughs> From the novel by Diana Wine. Oh, is this something uh, like written from a novel? Okay. Uh, not written, but adapted from a novel. Yeah, they know about it, that means. Okay, so it's like a everyday occurrence. Not everyday occurrence, but common occurrence. Oh, they have airplanes as well. What? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, the amount of smoke. Like, imagine uh, living in front of a train station or something. The amount of smoke it comes out and the rattling and everything. 
can't imagine like the place where I live is kind of like peace and quiet. Oh. <laughs> what? Hatters. Or was that Hatters? I think Hatters. Damn, the amount of smoke. Okay, so this is like in the middle of a city, like populated city. Urban area. Okay. Right. Populated as well. So many people. Name was what Sophie, I think. Uh, what's with her voice? See, I've heard people call little kitten, but not little mouse. What the hell? Who the, who's this? Like, oh, wait, he knows magic or something? My god, this guy looks like one of those, like, prince. Um. Yeah, her voice is, I don't know, like, it's kind of unusual, kind of reverberates and echoes. Oh my god, oh wow, well, I thought maybe he was talking about some human pussers, not these. Um, they have nice hats on. Oh. What? Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Well, <laughs> Wait, her hand doesn't fall off. <laughs> oh my god. Um who are you and by the way? And he's gone. Okay, is that her sister? Yeah.
Ja. Oh. Which of the way? Matter. Hmm. Um. Oh. So. Those things were. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Okay. This lady doesn't look friendly. Oh. That a oh my god. Uh, okay yeah oh oh my god so these people were but first what Wait, turn into an old lady? Oh my god. So that's the curse. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, so that was a witch of waste still. <laughs> um. Yeah, that is you. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Hmm, you'll be in for a surprise. Oh, she, she hasn't come. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. How can she come? There is Sophie. Uh, 
เออเอ็ดเอ็ดวิลีดูนาวเอ่อว่าเอ็ดเอ็ดวิลเอ็ดวิลีเทลยูร์นักเอ็ดเอ็ดส์ย่าย่า He has to like get out of here because it will be really uh, like explanation and everything will take too much time and too much hassle. Oh my God! The smoke! Damn! <laughs> wow! This is uh, quite unique. Oh, is she going to House Castle? Yeah, it'll also be like easily tired. No, oh, she'll take that as a walking stick. Um, your food. I hope no one takes it. I don't know any kind of like animals or something. Uh, oh my God! What is that? What is something stuck to it? Yeah. Oh, that's a scarecrow. Okay. No, you can't take that. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, your hat. But <laughs> what? <laughs> but but you need magic to revert you back. So yeah, you can't say that. Oh, the scarecrow has a cane with him. Did he take that came from someone to help? So yeah, that's a weird looking cane. Mm. Yeah, he's really going for it. Um, I think you'll meet him soon enough. Okay. Wow, this but majestic looking battleship.
Yeah, it's almost night. You need uh, house move. Oh, yeah, that is house moving castle. Oh, scarecrow robot <laughs> castle itself. Um, it should move. Oh no. Um, move your right beneath it. So. Oh, okay. Wait, that's a bird's feet. Oh, it has a door in its tail or whatever. Oh. Uh, um, will she be able to? Oh, damn. Oh, the scarecrow. Ah, yes, the scarecrow will bring it to you. Mm, there you go. Mm hmm. <laughs> Good turn if uh -huh. um, okay. Oh, what is Oh, is this starting? Well, technically, you're not old, but yep. <laughs> no, that's not how. Hmm, I doubt it. Wait, what? Uh... Um, I think this fire is trying to trick her. I don't know. Mm, but Sophie's tired now. Let us. The Great Wizard Jenkins. Wait. Wait, wait a minute. Why is she here?
Isn't this? He was in house castle. So. <laughs> Wait, is this? No, I don't think this is how. Wait a minute, she was in the castle, so... So this is... Is this castle like, kind of like a... Like a... Teleporter or something like... <laughs> That's a nice um this guys. Hmm. Yeah, she is also confused. She's like, what's happening here? The way he talks. <laughs> Again. <laughs> ben Dragon? Wait, Arthur Ben Dragon? Oh, Jenkins Pendragon. The, I think the master's name is Jenkins. Damn, this is a fancy place. What? Uh, okay, I get it. Okay, so that was all right. I was thinking what was happening like, So they're being transported by like uh, Moving that thing whatever that is and the color corresponds to whatever the place they're being teleported or transported to and uh, like flame thing is like saying that where is it coming from? Like he's saying that it's from here, so he's turning it into that place and then going out. Okay, okay. Okay, that I understood what was happening. Oh, it's a lot of food. Damn. Without fire? Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> Be a good fire.
Ah, poor Calcifer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wait, turn black. Okay, so yeah, this is how. Uh, will he recognize her? <laughs> oh, what the? That's a convenient fire. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Wait, you got your food. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Is there something in the pocket? That's something from, from yeah, I think it's from the witch. Yeah, it's from the Witch of the Waste. Oh. Damn. Wait. <laughs> oh, he, she cannot say. Yep. Um <laughs> the mouse. Your voice, yeah.
Damn, it looks a lot better. Extremely better. <laughs> Poor Calcifer. <laughs> oh. Come on, hang in there for a few minutes. Oh no, <laughs> poor cats. Did you really go out? Oh no. <laughs> he always goes inside that black thing. Uh, he even said something about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. <Look at> the... <laughs> oh my god, that's a toilet? My, oh! What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um, don't fall down. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he got fired up <laughs> fired up <laughs> oh no <laughs> Wow, this was amazing right darling oh is that is that the scarecrow? Yep. Poor scarecrow. <laughs> Kabu. Oh. Wait. What is it doing? <laughs> okay. That down. Ooh.
哇、wow. <笑>！哼哼，Oh, he's back. Oh, he. Eh? Okay. Wait. Oh, is there a war going on over here? Wherever he is. Yeah, damn. Oh, they're trying to fight him. Wow. Back, back. <laughs> happening oh he's running back <laughs> oh. He's going to get surprised looking at that bathroom. Wait, he returned, she returned back? Wait, does she return back when she's asleep or something? That was Sophie, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why, why does he wear a disguise? Potatoes. 
<laughs> Imagine paying for the things that you hate. <laughs> Oh my god. Sweet. Oh my god. Oh. Damn, it looks beaten up. Pretty bad. Oh, I should wear, wear a jacket or something. It's chilly over here. Ah. Oh boy. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Oh my god. Uh, bo Someone's bombing them. Oh no! What's this spreading? Okay. Ooh. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, that's not how. Wait. That is how. Yeah, that is how. Oh. Wait a minute. What's happening? Turning colors. <laughs> I have a feeling this guy is like that. Oh my god. I think his emotional whatever is affecting the castle or something. Spirits of darkness. What? <laughs> Oh. Wait. Is he wearing a disguise or something? Oh. Wait, she's wearing uh, like walking all okay now. Not hunch hunching down. Hmm. Oh, the scarecrow. What happened? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my lord.
Uh, and you gotta clean this up again. Yep. Oh, which of darkness is and uh, which of the waste? Oh, this is a fancy place. A lot of oh, it's an eye. Oh my god. <laughs> Why like she holds a grudge or something? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't want to do. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> 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 Who the hell is that? <laughs> My god, look at Howl now, like he's all hunched up with a blanket, like those, like, uh, like those shut-ins or hikikomoris you see in animes. <laughs> oh, okay. What will you disguise as? Let's see. Oh, she'll, he'll come later on. <laughs> oh well, let's go pay the king a visit. Ah, yeah, might be, because he was like kind of flying around previously. <laughs> Like imagine going to the king to uh, tell the king that my son won't do <laughs> do your the work that I've given him. <laughs> oh my god, this situation is so weird. Oh, what is that? Dog? That's a weird dog. Oh, is that Howl? Yeah, that must be Howl. Because the hair is kind of yellowish. <laughs> yeah, that must be Howl. Oh. <laughs> uh... Yep. 
<laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, she even recognized her. It doesn't realize that is how. <laughs> no, that's not. Um, what? That's not how what, magic works. <laughs> oh! Wait, what? That's some kind of magic spell? Who did that? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poor Howl. He's panting and everything. And the witch also cannot. Um, you have to carry him. <laughs> oh, what a! Oh my God, <laughs> he's heavy. <laughs> I think his whole weight is in the dog. <laughs> what an odd, ridiculous situation. <laughs> And <laughs> Sophie won. <laughs> Sophie won the race. <laughs> oh my god, the situation is so odd. <sighs> And, and I think he also cannot use magic to fly around or something. <laughs> oh my god, how like... Fifty years. Oh no, come on, don't say his name like that. God. <laughs> Damn, Howl. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, well... Oh my god. This is the same person who like turned her into the old person. Yup. Oh. 
Oh no, that was not he. She's just tricking her. Okay. Oh. Uh, I think it'll break. Okay. It's okay. Where is Saul going? Oh, that's how, isn't it? No, that's not. What the hell is happening? Those are light bulbs? What? <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, what is happening? Was this a trap for her? No, that's not how. Okay, let's see. The king is. is that the king? Or or a queen, okay, that's or or <clears throat> Oh, the witch of the majesty. Wait, what is he doing? That was not how. What? <laughs> it tricked us. <sighs> oh. Demon stole his heart. Oh, my God, what happened? Oh, that was her age. <laughs> oh, she turned back. Oh my god. Oh. Is that the king? Who is that? Yep.
Oh no. That's how? That how? Or uh, was that really a body though? Uh, <laughs> that's awkward. <laughs> oh boy. Damn. Oh, the witch is also here. Uh Okay. What what? Damn. Yee! Ah. But oh, yeah, I knew it. Like I, I thought maybe Howl was like making like wearing a disguise or something because he's pretty conscious about about his looks. That's the reason why. Okay. Game out. Hoo -hoo. Up. Let's run. Wait, wh why is he here? Yeah, why is the dog here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, she. <laughs> what a weird gang. <laughs> How the witch that wants house heart. <laughs> the lady who the witch turned into an old person. And the spy. <laughs> oh, you can summon him here. Oh, that was for that reason. <laughs> oh, you'll crash. Woo. <laughs> Okay. Um wait, wait, what happened? Oh, she's invisible, but uh that was an illusion. What what the hell is happening here? Who are these people? Oh boy. Um, they're not here, I think. Yep, nothing there. It's a moving castle, so yeah, you won't find it here.
Hmm. What's the matter? <laughs> oh no <laughs> Oh boy And she has to clean it up again <laughs> Hmm. Ah, she again reverted back. That how? Yeah. Wait, just a sec. The witch was the reason why she was cursed. Oh, but she said that she cannot like break the spell. I thought maybe she is in a condition like this now, so the spell would have gone away. She doesn't even realize that she is. Oh, the wind. I was sleeping uh, in its original form. So he is like a raven or something.
and there he goes wait back something wait was that a dream or not no um what Oh, wait a minute yeah he said, she said something about like making a pact with a demon was that with him must be i think so just saying something about being connected or something Hmm, Mr. Turnip, Kabu. <laughs> and... <laughs> Oh, and okay, run, run, run. <laughs> um, yep. Oof. <laughs> What happened to Calcifer? <laughs> and there's all. <laughs> Poor Calcifer. <laughs> Moving. Yeah. So where will you go? Okay. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> oh. oh, damn. Okay. Ooh, what's happening? It's changing. Oh, it's transforming into a house or something to disguise, I think. Yeah, it's in the middle of the city or somewhere. Oh, damn. <clears throat> That's how we move places. <laughs>
Oh, is is this? Yeah, it's her hometown. Oh, it's it's yeah. She's turning back. I can see the transformation. Like, she is gradually changing. She can, like, walk properly now. Without hunching down. <clears throat> yeah, I think the spell is a lot weaker now or something. Wow, this is something <laughs> you see in video games, like, you know, those places. Secret garden. Yeah, she can walk properly now. Yeah, what's happening to him, like... Oh, she's turning back. Yeah. Oh, boy. Um. Uh. Damn. Oh, 
Yeah, that took a lot of magic power. Um, why did you provoke it? Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> and crash. Oh, it opened. I don't know, I think whenever she like gets conflicted or something, she turns back to her old self. Uh. Oh my god. Starting here as well. Oh, okay. Uh. Okay. And Howl is, I think, here again. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, uh, who's that? Oh, that's sister. Wait, what? That's the mother? She looks completely like the sister. <laughs> mother. <laughs> Oh boy. What? Um She recognized her completely, like in one glance. Oh, what is that? Um, what are you doing? Okay, that was a disguise. Ah, uh. okay, so the question is is that someone in disguise or that's really his? her mother and that was something that like snuck into her purse wait 
Oh my god, she knew it. I thought she, maybe she didn't know and like it snuck into her purse. What the hell? <laughs> oh boy yeah he, he was kind of acting as a spy Oh, Calcifer ate that thing, whatever. <laughs> Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh boy, oh no. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, she's turning back to her like original form again. Like her younger self, yeah. Oh great, zombies now. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay. My God, damn. Oh, no, he is injured. Oh. Oh. Ha. <laughs> Come on, Calcifer, do your thing. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Uh. 
Uh. <laughs> oh boy, these things are persistent. So we'll go and bring our broom <laughs> and bucket and like. Oh my god, just look at the place. Green. No one's here. Burning. Oh no. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, like it's better being alive then. What's happening with uh, Richard and Sophie? Like, Sophie's body is like rain. Uh, yep, it's down. Come on, move, move. It's gonna collapse on you. Yep. <laughs> That's a little rain. That won't hurt you. Oh, damn. You're a strong scarecrow. <laughs> there you go. There's wood for you. <laughs> He's going to get fired up again or not. <laughs> He's getting fired up. Um, no. 
Yeah. Uh, here is okay. What happened? Ooh. Yeah, he's fired up again. Damn. Okay, I'll have to talk about something here. There's one thing I did not understand. Oh. Ooh, it's a tiny castle or whatever that is. No. No, don't. Okay. Oh, I thought maybe it's going to like, he was going to try and take it. <sighs> oh my God, the lady's going there. Yeah, what? Oh no. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. And this switch. Oh my god. It's like. Oh. Oh my god. This switch. What will happen to Calcifer now? Yeah, it's breaking down. Oh no. Where's the dog? What now? <coughs> I think he's fine because no, no, he's fine. Well, that's that's the direction. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. I think so. Wait, there? Oh, there's a door. Yeah.
Oh, it's that place. Oh no, it's... Who's that? Wait, did this connect to his past or something? Yeah, this must be the time when he like made a contact with the devil or whatever I think. Okay, I think the devil or whatever that he was talking was Calcifer. Let's see. Oh, the dog is going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it was Calcifer, wasn't it? I was thinking, like... That's the only demon or devil that was... In the castle, so that must be the... Oh boy. Oh, the dog. Yeah, that's all. Uh, you need to like bring calcifer.
Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. This Galsvin's gone, so the thing is also. Oh boy. Okay. Up, yep, Scarecrow to the rescue. <laughs> Damn, he is acting as a. Ah, uh, God. Oh, oh. Who the? What? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Nah. <laughs> 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 Well, the dog is like with a smug face. <laughs> hmm. Yep, he's back. <laughs> okay. And the castle is moving again. It's flying now. <laughs> This house flying castle, huh? Well, her hair is silver now. So... There are a few questions I still have. I'll talk about it. Okay, it's the end. Okay, so, so for the few questions, number one... Um, so what was the curse? Like what was it actually? Like we saw a lot of the times uh, Sophie come, going back to her older self and uh, not older self like her younger self and then again like she reverting back to that old uh, uh, appearance. So I don't know I think whenever she was conflicted or like emotional something like her emotional change was the reason that she reverted back and another thing I'm a bit curious about is uh, the witch herself even said that this is something that I cannot revert back so what was it that broke kind of broke the spell because she did not get her hair color back like that was a bit confusing 
I'm not sure if I like really understood that thing. That was number one. Number two, there was a time when uh, like Sophie took Calcifer out and came out of the uh, like castle and the class castle cam crumbled down. Then she went inside again and put it in and a little portion of the castle started moving. <coughs> Excuse me. What was the, well, I mean, what was the significance of that? Like, why did she do that? Uh, like, coming out of the castle, breaking it down, and then again getting inside and taking a small portion of the castle with her? Well, well I mean, I, I, I did not understand that, like, the reason behind that action as well. Like, these two are, like, the, the two confusing things that, like, I'm being confused, confused about. The other things, I got it. Like, the whole thing about um, uh, the past, uh, how that, like, he made a contract with Calcifer. Calcifer was one of those things that was, like, flying around and it fell, like, in front of um, Howl. And Howl, as he said, that he was kind of, I don't know, like, lonely, something like that. He made a contract with Calcifer and that gave like took her like a house heart and Calcifer regained the um, like fiery form and how like got this kind of demon kind of appearance uh, like this raven kind of appearance so that much I got and I also got it that uh, it was like this was more of a time travel kind of thing where uh, Sophie had already met um, how in his childhood and how was waiting like uh, for um i think sophie and like that's why sophie all like at the end sophie said that i am sorry i kept you waiting or something like that uh, because like the things that happened in sophie's life it was a lot later like she in her later years got to go back in time and meet with how but like according to how the like the thing that happened was a lot earlier that means it's a really weird kind of thing like this is time like time is kind of like this like there's no past like pa this past future and the present they are not like specific portions in the timeline they're like all moving at the same time so this is it is like that like that means uh when sophie like when how made sophie like sophie's future self at that time, there was another Sophie in that world, who was a lot younger, uh, almost at the same age of Howl. But at the same time, uh, Howl met with the future Sophie. So there were like two like people at the same time in the same world. Like, it was like more, more something like that. So Sophie did not, the, the younger Sophie, uh, did not know about anything. That's the end. Uh, the younger Sophie had no idea that the older Sophie had went uh, to house, uh, I mean, uh, th that place and met with Howl. And uh, so she knew, uh, she did not know anything about Howl. And later on, she came to realize that, yeah, I went in the past and uh, like asked Howl to wait for me. So Howl has been kind of waiting for me. So yeah, th like that was the thing, whole thing about the time portion that I understood. But those two portions, I am bit, still bit, a bit confused. Like, what was the actual nature of the curse? And why did, like, uh, that thing happen? Like, why did Sophie suddenly take Calcifer out? Uh, he, she said something about uh, them... I don't know, like, them... Like, they, I think it was something more like they won't be able to help uh, how if they did not do that. Like, Sophie said something about, like... Uh, like Calcifer also said that I'm going to die like this. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. Not that. Uh, Calcifer said that the castle won't move if I am taken out. But Sophie still took it out. Came out of the castle. The castle crumbled down. She went again, in again, and gave wood to Calcifer. Calcifer started burning, and a little portion of the castle became this autonomous, like moving thing, and it started go to go. So what was the significance of that? Like these two things I'm a bit confused if uh, like uh, like you guys must have understood it so if you guys have an answer please be sure to like comment down I really want to know what was the reason behind those two uh, yeah other than that uh, this was a full-on magical movie and uh, what else 
yeah, it was like something else. Like it, it, this was more like Spirited Away. Uh, like yeah, like full of magic and everything. Um, and the witch, she um she was like oh, she wanted house heart but at the end i think she like gave up on that and at times she kind of like acted like uh i don't know senile kind of old lady but at times she like reverted back to her old like wish self like when like in we, we saw like she was like like sleeping or like sitting down she was like saying stuff like what a uh, pretty fire what a pretty fire and like kind of staring at calcifer and I, I kind of got the reason why she was doing that because that was house heart so she was always looking at calcifer like that and um that and then at times when she helped um sophie uh, by like taking the spy or whatever thing that was and put, like giving it to calcifer feeding it to calcifer then she started smoking <laughs> and the dog kind of like fainted kind of um all of these like that was the time when she was completely acting like a witch like she used to act um a little subtle changes like that and i was really surprised at the fact that her mother kind of sold her out like that like um i don't know how to feel about that like like i think she did like at the beginning i thought maybe there were like two reasons that like she did something like that number one like was like she did not know uh, and the whatever the spy thing uh, it snuck into her purse and she like forgot the purse there and it came out maybe that or i thought maybe um uh someone was disguising as her mother because she like uh recognized sophie just like that and uh like so easily so I thought maybe that was the, these two one of them was the reason but turns out it was not she uh, I don't know like I was, I was really surprised at that like she suddenly uh, like said to the driver that take me back to Silman and said like I'm sorry Sophie so yeah I don't know anyways yeah, yeah like we barely have any kind of context behind her like any kind of backstory of her mother or of her mother or we got a little bit of a story with her and her sister and we kind of saw that her sister really adores her but we but her mother was kind of the similar she was also like so happy meeting her hugged her all of this but then after that who knows maybe her mother was trying to like uh i don't know like hand over Sulem, uh, like hand over how to Suleiman and she really did not want any harm to come to her daughter so because of that reason she some <coughs> excuse me because of that reason she like took the request of Suleiman as like Suleiman must have like set her up for the whole thing that she did so maybe that was the reason maybe she thought that yeah um how going back to Suleiman would be the best for her daughter she like did something like that who knows but still like <coughs> it was kind of a betrayal nothing major but still anyways mm. yeah also another thing i am a bit confused is <coughs> i've been talking for a long time so <coughs> i'll like keep this short i can't like my throat is hurting um another thing that i am uh, a bit curious is why did sophie's hair not turn back like she became younger like she reverted to her old self i mean younger self <laughs> but <clears throat> why was her hair still like the silverish kind of thing <coughs> okay guys i think i'll uh, let me just check a bit more Um, so I think maybe, um, so how, like when Howl got to know Sof Sophie and met her for the first time, 
Did he realize that that was that same Sophie? So, because like in one of the scenes we see him like when he gets back home, we see him like getting inside and then seeing like Sophie has reverted back to her original form, sleeping. We see Sophie kind of like looks at her and like goes back. So maybe she did rea he did realize that that was the same Sophie that he met in his childhood. <coughs> Who knows? And I, I was, uh, I was quite uh, like I thought maybe the scarecrow was some kind of like a spell that was put on him, and yeah, it was that, and it reverted back to the prince, <coughs> and also that was the reason why he was like following Sophie for that like so much. Like so much time and yeah in the end uh, it's a happy ending as Sulman said and the dog was all smug faced and <laughs> laughing kind of he was like yeah look at this you're wrong I proved you wrong or something like that and <clears throat> um, yeah and it was a happy ending and uh, thankfully uh, Everything went back to normal, like uh, Sophie uh, is there, Howl is there, the kid is there, I forgot the kid's name. Markle, Markle, wasn't it, yeah. And um, Casper is there, Dog is there, uh, who else? The old lady that is the witch is there. And <clears throat> like, uh, I'm guessing the king that is the, not king, the prince of the, um, neighboring kingdom or something uh, there is a scarecrow there he will come like back and forth and like meet them now and then so yeah and the uh, ward is coming to an end uh, Sulman uh, withdrew her troops so yeah everything's fine happy ending <coughs> and how's moving castle got an upgrade and it's flying now so <laughs> yep so yeah guys um that was how's moving castle that was a, a really enjoyable um, movie. It was a little uh, not different because I've seen Spirited Away. It's kind of the same, like uh, the magical, like the background, the magical kind of theme and everything. Um, like Totoro also had a magical theme, but it was more. Uh, what can I say? <clears throat> like it was more like uh, there are normal humans and there is the supernatural thing, and like they did not mingle with each other. Only um, mm, forgot their names, the main characters' names. The little uh, girl and her sister. Only they were able to like uh, see Totoro and mingle with the uh, magical portion of the world. And but Spirited Away, it was more similar kind of like that. But uh, at that in in that <coughs> like in, uh, like in that movie, uh, Sen Sen was the only one who kind of like got uh, like. I don't know tangled up in this mess and Sen and her his her parents and it's the same like uh, in that uh, like uh, movie as well there is like a division between the human side and the supernatural side but in this movie I can see uh, also Mononoke uh, okay uh, yeah Mononoke Hime and this movie these two are like another category like in these two uh, like movies uh, it was more like the magical portion and the human portion of the <clears throat> like uh, of the of the movie were mingled with each other like uh, for example here like the there are normal humans as well but they knew that there are like magical things they interacted with them and uh, magic was something of a daily occurrence here so that is the reason why i'm saying like they are together they're mixed same with monono kehime uh, it was uh, like uh, they were like fighting against the deer god and uh, like um, Ashtaka and um, uh, what was the name of the girl? Forgot. Anyways, Mononoke Hime. She. Oh, her name was San, I think. Yeah, San. Um, <clears throat> I always forget the names. <laughs> like, forgive me for that. Um, yeah, like uh, they were also like this mixed kind of thing. Like, San was a. Uh, human girl but she was like grew up with the uh, wolves and all 
and she can talk with them and she can she knows all of these magical things so these are like more mixed like these two movies they are like the magical and the human portion of the movies are mixed together but not with uh totoro and spirited away there is it those two are more like a single person got mixed up in the mess but the other uh, like people knew nothing about magic it was more like that so yeah it's just something that i like suddenly realized uh the kind the little kind of difference that these movies had uh okay so yeah uh, that was this movie okay now the question is what shall i do for uh the next week um let me just um check what should i do like i'll have to check the uh Ghibli movie, no, the, the Ghibli movies, which one should I do? I'm, I'm just going to the website and looking at all the movies now that I can decide what shall I do for next week. Just a sec, guys. Okay, guys, um, I think I should do this one for the next week. Grave of the Fireflies. Now, I know one thing about this movie that it is pretty sad. And <laughs> I don't know. I really don't want to like shed tears in the front of the camera but i think this will be some kind of an emotional film movie so yeah i'll do this i'll do this the next week um, grave of the fireflies so yeah guys um so yeah guys and this was um uh house moving castle and that was an enjoyable uh, movie and it was something which was full of magical things and everything and it was really interesting we got a happy ending as well so all's well that ends well as they say so uh and i think uh, this was uh, like it said something about uh, at the beginning like it was like translated from i mean it, it is from a no novel or something by some kind of some author i forgot the name of the author um it was uh, not a japanese name i'm not sure if so yeah like i think this is some kind of an adaptation or not adaptation but some kind of uh like they took some things from the novel i think who knows like uh like you, you guys can inf like uh, let me know about that in the comments as well yeah anyways guys so i'll stop there uh it's been quite a long time and so yeah guys and that was uh, house moving castle if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh, please consider doing so and comment down below anything you want to say anything about this movie or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so and also uh the poll is given in the comment section you guys can go there and vote for the next show that i would probably do that will replace soul eater yeah you guys should consider voting as well so yeah guys i'll be back next week uh same time with another movie uh, i'll be doing uh, grave of the fireflies next week so be sure to tune in in that was as well so until then goodbye and have a nice day